Now, how about longer trips? Talk about the supercharger network. Well, the, the supercharge network is a, is a very uh, different approach to range anxiety. And you know, even, even with the best efforts, you know, electric vehicles will probably end up with you know, two, three, maybe 400 miles of range. But you know, the question that always comes up is, what about road trips? You know, I, I want to drive across the country. I want to you know, drive five, six, 700 miles per day, 1,000 miles per day. Right. And uh, you know, cars are sort of stereotypically about freedom in, in North America, at least. Uh, less so in Europe, I guess. But in, you know, people have a romantic idea that they just want to drive off at moment's notice across the country. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's historically something very hard to deal with, with you know, recharging cars. You know, it's almost always been an overnight recharge. Right. And you know, we looked at this and, and have, for at least four or five years, been working on a strategy of how we could, you know, as a system thinking, get a much faster recharge and also bring that system thinking into the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And there was no infrastructure you know, out there that could do this fast enough. We need close to 100 kilowatts of, of power exchange between the grid and the car. Mm -hmm. So you know, we actually designed um, a set of off-board you know, equipment. Uh, we've started a whole separate uh, you know, division inside of Tesla that's now working on you know, uh, producing those uh, you know, off-board chargers, that's also working on siting them, uh, where we put them and installing them in the field. Yeah. And it, it basically lets you recover about half of your range in about 30 minutes. So you can get 150 miles almost of driving range back in the car in about 30 minutes. And that, that's kind of a key you know, tipping point metric when you're on a road trip. You know, if you've just driven four or five hours, um, stopping for 30 minutes or 40 minutes is not a, not a big encumbrance. You know, it's something that most people end up tending to do naturally. Yeah. You know, that's, that's really not enough time to grab any meaningful lunch. You know, if you're trying to stop at a restaurant, you've already, the car's already full. It's, it's waiting for you. And, you know, then we looked very clearly at where we should put these things. Right. This was, I think, the other big insight that we had uh, that's a little different than how infrastructure is happening uh, today. And you know, they, we don't need these in city centers. You, know, you don't need much infrastructure at all near your house or near, near your place of work. And you know, seeing charging stations pop up at, at Walgreens and you know, Home Depots, and it, it's, I think it's kind of the wrong thing. You know, where you desperately need charging infrastructure is when you're headed out of a city, outside of the radius of your vehicle's range, no matter what vehicle it is. And you know, we thought very, very uh, strategically about where exactly we should put these, on what transportation routes, you know, to enable places that our customers wanted to go. Mm. So it wasn't carpet bombing, you know, the whole country with, you know, tens of thousands of chargers, but it was looking specifically with our customer base, with our delivered vehicle base, where do we need them? Mm -hmm. And it turns out that you, you don't need that tens of thousands, you don't even really need thousands. Even with, on the order of a hundred of these stations, we can get enormously meaningful improvements in utility and value of the cars. Um, we have about a half dozen across California right. that let our customers drive essentially anywhere in California. Um, Talk you know, about the road trip you did from Tahoe to Southern Cal. Yeah, one, one of our uh, initial test drives on this was, was going you know, from North Lake Tahoe all the way down to Los Angeles, you know, essentially in a single setting, single right. trip. Um, we have you know, these stations uh, along the way on Highway 5. We have um, one also at Folsom you know, on the way down from Tahoe. And you know, they're about 30 minute stops. So driving 600, almost 700 miles uh, just with 30 minute stops, three or four of those in between. It's, it's kind of a, a different ball game entirely.